वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन द ऑब्सट्रैक्ट्रिक इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द सूचर्स एंड द फाउंटेन नाउ बाय अ पर वेजाइनम एग्जामिनेशन वी कैन एस्टिमेट व्हाट इज द पोजीशन ऑफ द हेड इन रिलेशन टू द पेल्विस वेदर एनी फाउंटेनेला इज इन द एंटीरियर सेगमेंट और इन द पोस्टीरियर सेगमेंट ऑफ पेल्विस एंड बाय दैट वी मै नो वॉट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ द फीटल स्कल Now, supposingly that I have is a, a longitudinal lie with cephalic presentation, and the occiput being in the anterior segment of the pelvis, and my head is well flexed. So, in such a condition, if I do a per vaginum examination, I might be able to locate the posterior fontanella. All right, we had was a longitudinal lie. cephalic presentation with the occiput being anterior here in a well flexed condition i might be able to feel for the posterior fontanelle the posterior fontanelle is usually located by a triangular gap in the anterior segment of the pelvis that is the anterior segment of the pelvis i might be able to feel for the posterior fontanel and if in case i go and find the anterior fontanella which this would be very very deep high in the pelvis in comparison to the posterior fontanella that is easily located and sometimes we might not be even able to locate the anterior fontanella in a well flexed head and supposing that this head gets deflexed my anterior my posterior fontanella will still be in the anterior quadrant but my i uh, might be able to feel for the anterior fontanella and the posterior fontanella at the same level now this is the condition where we can consider there is deflection of the head and supposingly that i have my suture in the transverse my suture is in the transverse i will be able to feel the sagittal suture right in the midway and i might be able to feel both anterior and the posterior fontanelle now going for the occipital posterior position in the occipital posterior position where we have occiput posterior and on a per vaginum examination as you can also see on the video that i am will be able to easily palpate the anterior fontanel and also i might be able to feel the posterior fontanel because deflection usually accompanies accompanies in the occipital posterior position so on the anterior segment of the pelvis i will be able to feel a gap between the four suture lines that is the anterior fontanella or bregma in the anterior segment of the pelvis and this condition is in the occipital posterior position now again moving on to the occipital anterior here we had was posterior fontanella in the anterior segment of the pelvis this is my occiput posterior right occipital posterior here i am able to feel the anterior fontanella in the anterior segment of the pelvis and also on the left side maternal left and in case of our deep transverse arrest i will be able to feel the sagittal suture in the midline at the level of the ischial spines so the two main obstetrical importance of the fetal skull uh, sutures uh, and the fontanella is one is that by per vaginum examination we can assess that what is the position of the fetus and the other is that overlapping or the molding facilitates the delivery of the baby also these fontanella are of clinical importance after the birth as they uh, help in determining the condition of the baby as if there is dehydration in case of a dehydration there will be depression and in case of an intracranial tension there will be bulging of the fontanella or rarely uh, blood samples can be taken from these fontanella or a csf sample can be taken but for obstetrical importance only the two main important are first is per vaginum examination and the second is it facilitates the molding so as to facilitate the delivery of the baby thank you